Hey guys, it's Ice here, and I'm here with more Splunky. This is normally when the daily challenge would be going up, but I screwed up and I recorded it without audio. So, I'm not going to bother even uploading it. To be fair, I did terrible. I died on the mines too, uh, by jumping on spikes. 27,500, I'm the lowest on my friends list uh, of people who have done it now. But, I mean, hey, we can take solace in the fact that at least right now, when the daily challenge has only been up for about an hour, uh, we did come in under 300th place okay yeah we're not even gonna pretend but so in lieu of that we're just gonna do ourselves a normal adventure we're gonna play as uh, Jaguar boy which I unlocked on the daily challenge yesterday oh yeah um, and let's go ahead and jump straight into it now because this is a normal challenge not a daily challenge I'm gonna be focused a lot more on progression I'd like to get to hell like I I know I've beaten no Olmec once, and now look at me. Plans of grandeur. I want to get to hell. But on my first and only beating of Olmec, I did actually manage to get uh, to the City of Gold. Now, I had ignored the Necronomicon. If you hadn't seen that one, I was just like, you know what? It's a daily challenge. Let's just use the rest of these bombs to get some more gold. So I had ignored the Necronomicon. Though I did, I definitely had the opportunity. I feel like I could have picked it up. And, you know, this is, of course, speaking from the safety of not having to prove it due to the randomization and single-time nature of the run, but I, I feel like I wasn't too far off. I feel like I could have if I had been ballsy enough. Of course, that might have screwed my run. I wouldn't have beaten Olmec, which is, of course, why I didn't do it. But that being said, okay, cool, that had already gone off. I had turned the Maiden to body block it just in case it hadn't. Because I would rather her take the damage than me. That is gallantry at its best right there. And we are going to see what we can do. And my dog is just trying to get in that door like crazy. I'll be right back. Muffy. No, Muffy. This is my office, Muffy. And I apologize for that, guys. We're going to jump right back here. Uh, okay, cool. She's not going to fall off. And I think it'd actually be pretty safe for her to fall off. Yep, I don't see any spikes down there. She is good to go. But yeah, and I did it without a Kapala, which, I mean... Kapala is both, like, one of my favorite items in the game, and honestly, I think an item I overrate a little. It is, of course, nice, but it isn't as useful the later you get on. Simply because, you know, there's so many one-hit kills later in the game that... It's very unlikely you're going to be ground down on health. Now, that being said, I feel like of getting to hell, the little bit I've seen of hell from other videos, not from my own experience, hell is definitely a place you want to go into with a lot of health because there is a lot of grinding down. Not, I mean, there's obviously a lot of one-hit kills, but being ground down on health is definitely a fairly distinct possibility there. So... A Kapala would always be nice. Uh, and that means, you know, basically, we're going to be trying to get a Kapala if we can. We're going to go ahead and buy this bomb box. They're cheap at this point. I would normally grab that Matic, but without the Ujet Eye, I really can't guarantee it's going to pay for itself. We'll pop a bomb there. Whereas with the bombs, I mean, the bombs and the extra mobility of them, I, I feel it's always useful. Uh, that is not worth uh, the risk. I'm trying to throw a rock up there for five for a thousand gold so just gonna head on out we are a little low on gold and that's because we bought the bomb box you know had we not bought the bomb box we'd be at a very comfortable spot on gold but I really think it's gonna be a good decision and up here we can get paste for the cost of a bomb and a rope I'm gonna do it I have a lot of bombs so I mean the bomb is basically a non-issue and we have a decent amount of ropes okay it is gonna cost us two ropes but that's okay. I'm okay with that. Um, we are gonna be spending another rope. You know what? We can actually just bomb out of here. Since we do have a lot more bombs than we do ropes, and I know I have to spend another rope to get this crate over here. Now with my luck, I do find bombs to be more valuable than ropes in general, until you like run out of ropes. And we got more bombs, so that worked out perfect. That basically cost us a couple ropes. And now that we spent all that time getting paste in that level, we of course are in a spot where going, we're going to get several pastes. 
just going through the nor normal progression. Ooh, there is a snake pit here as well. It appears the Ujet Eye is down here. <coughs> at this point, I'm actually very happy I didn't buy the Matic. Because I would probably still have it at this point, and... I don't know. I I'm, I'm glad I didn't buy the Matic. I think that was the right decision. You might disagree, but screw you, you're not the one recording. We'll go with that. <laughs> I love you guys. Climbing gloves would be awesome, obviously. Um, now we are going to get the Ujet Eye down here, so of course the, there we go. Of course the um, glasses aren't a huge pickup for us, but I have found out that they do increase uh, your vision on dark levels. So not a bad pickup, like I, not, not something I'm gonna start, not something I'm gonna complain about. Luckily that arrow didn't have a head, so it didn't hurt us, just stunned us. We're gonna break through this way. We have a lot more to do on this level, hopefully. There's a shop, he has climbing gloves, which we will spend a rope to get to. Um, especially because with this Ujat Eye, Ujat Eye, with this Matic, I am almost guaranteed to be able to make back the money for that. We're just going to take a peek up here since we really didn't do it before. Not sure why I'm not bringing the Matic with me. I'm making this trip doubly long. That is a skeleton. I saw him fall down there. Let's go. Okay, first off, let's go over to the other side of the map over here and see what we can find here. I'm still looking for the damsel. I think. Yeah, I, I definitely haven't rescued the damsel. Um, we're gonna pop a bomb up there. Hope like hell that doesn't anger the shopkeeper. We are good. At this point, you know, bombs are still a little less valuable than ropes to us. Go ahead and drop that here. I see a ruby we can get, and I do hear the damsel. And excellent. Damsel is right here with this ruby. Go ahead and drop that down there. Grab the damsel. And we're gonna go ahead and drop the damp. The at this point, the matic is more important to me than the damsel, and I really don't feel comfortable getting both. So we're gonna head on out. We took a little bit too much time on that floor. I think a big mistake we made there. We would have been able to get the damsel if we hadn't have gone up uh, to the shopkeeper twice, once without the matic. Uh, it seems like such a small thing, but that really would have changed things around. We could have gotten the damsel had we not done that. So we do have a chance to sacrifice the damsel. I have six health. I am definitely going to take that opportunity. Uh, there's a crate up here. So, wow, almost killed myself there. Uh, there's a crate up here and a bit more gold. So we'll definitely go up here. Three more bombs, immediately worth it. We are flush with bombs in this run. I have to say that is super nice. Plus we have a Maddox, so we're not even expending that many bombs to make good things happen. Um. What we're going to do here is break through here just for convenience sake, whip the Matic down, and the damsel is, I love you, Monty, but no. Got that, got that. Go ahead and, whoa, some dumb damage there. And even more dumb damage, so not really the best place to be. Let's leave that Matic there for a moment. Okay. That was all sorted. Gun bomb here. Watch out for that spit. And that gives us a couple more gems and a third paste, I believe. So, well, not the third paste we picked up, but definitely the third paste that has dropped. Really glad that I jumped on that skeleton, not next to it. I'm getting a little bit better about remembering to check my skeletons. We have 50,000, which is nice. Um, we have the Ujet Eye, which is even nicer. We still have a working Matic, not sure for how long. And we're just gonna explore a little bit more, see if we can grab a little bit more gold. Maybe a crate? That would be fantastic. Before this day is up. There we go, see if that hits the bomb. It did not. Now we just gotta watch out for this rubble. I'm afraid with every, oh God. Every single one of those swings terrified me. Okay, we are good. We'll grab a couple more gems as we go. Uh, that emerald is tempting, but definitely not worth digging all the way down to. 
Especially because uh, if we get super lucky, we might be able to use this Matic to find the black market and just be flush with bombs, which would be phenomenal. Now, that being said, I definitely will use the Matic to grab any rubies or very easy uh, emeralds or sapphires I can. I'm not going to just save it for the black market. It's just, you know, if it happens, it happens. I want to get away from these tiki traps before I deal with this bat. We are good. Um, almost got stabbed by that. I always forget that the tiki traps could continue. That was a really bad use of the Matic, but the positive thing is it did find... We are going to find the black market here. There we are. Black market found. Monkey dropped some money down there, which actually will be going down there anyway. We have the ropes to get back up. No reason not to go. Let's go ahead and grab that emerald. Now the question is, can we do this? Oh, we could have done it without getting hurt. We just made terrible mistakes. The damsel, uh, I would love to get, so we are going to try... One. One bomb. We'll get some money. We'll get the damsel. We'll get that chest. I can't think of a better time for a Matic to break. Um, the life is definitely important. Had I seen a place to sacrifice, I would have, because that would have guaranteed us the, the Kapala. But now it's just a matter of let's poke around a little bit, see if we can grab any easy money like that ruby right there. Um, before we get out of here. Bats have been wrecking us this run. I feel like the majority of my damage has been bats. Really dumb damage this run. I don't know why I'm doing this. Um, more importantly, I don't know why I continued doing it after I said I don't know why I'm doing it. Literally no idea what killed that man. Doesn't make sense to me. Does it make sense to you? Because I'm a little lost. And let's go ahead and head on out. The black market beckons, my friends, and we, the victors, shall answer it. Okay. So, looks like we have climbing gloves, which we already have. Ooh, we're not going that way. Uh, bomb crate, which if I have enough money, I am interested in. I think I will have enough money. I can't remember how much they cost on the black market. Tons of bomb crates. What do you have there? A web gun. How have you ever made money? So we're gonna leave, we've got 27,000. Yeah, that's enough for a bomb, Doc. Uh, bomb crate, obviously. Uh, do, do, do. We have almost an extra 30,000, which is phenomenal. I almost, without thinking, put a bomb down for that ruby, which definitely would have angered the shopkeeper. We'll buy a compass, we'll buy a bomb box. I feel like boomerangs are gonna come naturally. Um, I have a cape, so that's, uh, we have a cape, and we have a, and we have climbing gloves. Mobility isn't a huge issue. Let's just take care of... Oh my god, I cannot believe I took damage there. Um, You know what? We could buy... Oh, we can't buy the mystery box. And we got ourselves a free uh, boomerang. So, not bad. Let's see if we can get those both going at the same time. We can. Excellent. A little bit extra money down here in the uh, water. And... My nemesis spikes on the ground. You know what? I don't feel like dealing with it, so we're just going to make our lives easy. Okay, so Monkey killed himself. And once again, we are just going to bomb our way through here. I almost jumped straight on that. Though I think it would have been a small enough fall that it wouldn't have killed me. I could be wrong. I can't remember exactly the physics on those spikes. So let's move on. Uh, nope. I can get a ruby over there. Not worth it. I should have checked that skeleton. That was a tactical error. Okay, let's see if this uh, frog will kill himself. No, but I don't think he's getting out anytime soon. Take out these monkeys, because monkeys are assholes. As anyone who has been to the zoo might know. This pot has that bat's name on it. This man has my feet's name on it. Okay, what do we have in our shop down here? A hired help, which means we'll be saving our money. Oops, threw that boomerang the wrong way. We can easily get our 
Oh my god. The dumb damage today is ridiculous. Now we have to get our damsel. Um, with two life, I would still trade for the Kapala. At one life, I start getting nervous about the whole Kapala trade thing. Uh, with a cape, that's an easy jump. Skeleton coming down. Skeleton gonna get taken care of by a Tiki Trap. That problem is sorted. Now we do have a frog. Frogs have been jerks lately, so let's just kinda chill it out, take it easy. Okay, and we have a big old frog. First things first. Take care of him. I cannot believe we took more damage there. Almost died to that. No spring shoes, but hey, more gems. And we're still sitting at two life because of the idiocy of our damage. I hear rushing water. I was... Every single part of me was hoping for a dead or restless level. A dead or restless level would make me so much more comfortable in this run. That's not even funny, but hey, you can't get what you want ever, according to Splunky. It's not even you can't always get what you want. It's you will never get what you want. Like, I definitely did not want that to go over there, but it did. So that is Splunky, a compass that I already have. Obviously not something I'm interested in. What I am interested in is these frogs killing themselves in this tiki trap. Which, maybe one more jump will do it? Nope. And we're just going to poke on through. No bait on that floor. <laughs> because rushing water stages are hell. So, I'm not liking our health situation. Though we do have a chance to sacrifice no spike shoes... Okay, two life, I will sacrifice. That'll get me the Kapala. And then maybe I can uh, build up some life by stomping on Yetis. Wish I had spike shoes, but hey, I don't. We'll roll without that. I don't need you to tell me for the... I don't need to me to tell you all for the 80th time today that you can't always get what you want. That guy is not worth it. Um, that was really pointless. I don't know why I went for that. Risky, like... Let's make this thing, let's throw this thing maneuver. When I could have just uh, done the smart thing. Okay, I did it again. I keep picking them up and throwing them instead of just walking away and letting them explode. Now these guys we are going to want to jump on a couple more times just to milk as much blood out of their bodies as we can. Getting one more health would make me really, really feel a lot more comfortable about this run. Um. Here's the real question. Can Is there a path to get back up? You know what? If I do this, there is. And we can go ahead and sacrifice his body. A little bit of extra favor. Which, if we get super lucky... There we go. Bit of life there. If, if, if we get super lucky, that extra favor could turn into another, like, four to eight health for us. Which is huge. I don't think I need you need me to tell you that. But then beyond that, there is the blood explosion when you sacrifice, and you can normally grab most of that. Grab yourself a nice little, uh, Bitto Kapala filling. Good old blood for the blood god. And what are we without blood for our blood god? Okay, and we did get an extra health out of that. Well, I, I think I got that before. I think I got that just by jumping on the Yeti. Before all the trickiness, but, uh, extra favor with Kali... And a pretty close to full Kapala. That was worth the rope. Now, jumping on this snake is a no-brainer. Uh, it may have wasted our parachute for some ridiculous reason, but hey, we'll roll with it. Okay, moving on. And we do have our maiden. And we have to die on this floor. So we're going to drop the maiden off. Um, because... Yeah, we're going to drop the Maiden off, no matter what. Sacrificing the Maiden would be pointless, because that would probably put us at the point we need where we get more um, favor. But we really don't need favor. Uh, well, we don't need the extra life right now. Because we do have to die, we're going to be reset to four life. So having him waiting for us on the other side, having a dog waiting for you in the afterlife is... About the best thing anyone could ever ask for. Um, on this, I'm actually going to go ahead and use a bomb. 
I really hope he doesn't drop the freeze ray. Okay, cool. That's essentially a bomb for a uh, emerald, which at this point in the game is worth a lot of money. And for me, I'd like to get my Kapala. Oh, I didn't want my Kapala that full. We're just going to try to get a couple more bits of blood in our Kapala, and then we'll head out. I wanted it to be close to full, but not full. And I didn't stop quite enough. I It's eight blood droplets is what it boils down to. And I think that's one stop from full there. So we do not want to get any more. We're going to go ahead and kill ourselves. Trigger the Ankh. And here we go. Got the Hedget. One more lo level of the Ice Caves, I do believe. We're, gonna, we're putting our money back on the map. Um, this is like our final opportunity for a shop. Oh, wait, no. Two more. There's going to be two more. There's one more after this. This is our final opportunity for a shop, which... Or no, I guess two more opportunities for a shop. Which... That was the dumbest bomb. What, what was I planning on doing with that bomb? And a shop could be a huge get for us. Okay, take care of him. Extra bit of blood. Which was not worth it, since I immediately took damage. We are at five life still. Ooh, there's an altar. If we can find a yeti or two to sacrifice, that would make my day. Uh, that may or may not happen. I still haven't found my maiden. I will definitely sacrifice my maiden should the opportunity present itself. And I want to get some vertical movement here, so we're going to go ahead and blow that up. Maiden? Whether or not this maiden is going to live is a big question. It did completely unharmed, actually. So this we... No-brainer. Absolutely no-brainer. We don't want to bring it there. We want to go up and sacrifice it. This might push us over the edge. Uh, it did not, but we're very, very close to the big old number where you get a huge chunk of extra health. Okay. Last level of the ice caves. Our last chance for a shop, I believe. I'm fairly certain you can't get shops in the temple. I could be wrong on that, but I don't think I am. Okay, so this guy is going to be a dick. That's fairly evident. I'd like that money, but that doesn't seem to be in the cards for me. And I just want to get one more stomp on these guys, get the max amount of blood out of them I can. Because as I'm heading towards the temple, and hopefully, you know, if we play all our cards perfectly right. That was a big pile of mistakes right there. Uh, I want to leave. Nope. And there goes our run. Damn. We got just tossed. <laughs> but I want to thank you all for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and as always, have a great day.